Hey guys, it's social media producer Tom Barnes. This is the Chicago scene with something really cool and unique. Behind me is the old Cook County Hospital. It's been shuttered for about 20 years. And then the folks from Hyatt bought it and it's gonna be called the Hyatt Place. Complete renovation, restore. And today we get the first look inside. Pretty cool, huh? Nobody's really been inside yet. So we're gonna get a behind the scenes look at the progress and we'll find out when they open. That is the Chicago scene for today. Let's take a look. All right, we're here in the lobby of the old Cook County Hospital with my friend, John. How you doing, John? Good, Tom, how are you? I'm great. Uh, John, uh, why don't you introduce yourself and tell people what you've done in relation to this new space? Sure, this is, uh, my name's John Murphy. I'm the uh, CEO and chairman of Murphy Development Group. And uh, you're in the old Cook County Hospital. Uh, this is a $140 million uh, redevelopment. They took the uh, abandoned hospital that was vacant for 17 years and converted it to two hotels, a medical office building, and um, some retail, which includes an extensive daycare facility as well as a food hall. And uh, the last element, and not the least of which, is a museum which will pay tribute to the history and medical history of the uh, Cook County Hospital System. And you said that we're in the old lobby of the actual hospital this itself. the lobby and the check-in uh, for the old hospital. And it is now our, our you know, basically our hotel lobby. Um, at one point, this is one of the largest hotels in the world. It had approximately 4,500 beds. The building you're in is approximately 340,000 square feet. It's 550 feet long by 80 feet deep. And it, uh, if you look at it along Harrison, it's almost like a 50-story building on its side. Yeah, it's giant and it's imposing when you're driving up on the street. When you look at it, it's stunning. And what you guys have done on the outside is, I mean, it's nothing short of a miracle. I mean, it looks brand new. It was a fairly extensive renovation process. We had, um, initially we projected approximately 1,450 pieces of the terracotta that would need replication or replacement. But it ended up where we had about 4,430 uh, pieces that need replication. There's only two companies in the United States that actually do that work and the one we located was Gladding McBean out of Lincoln, California, which is near Sacramento. Uh, or is this floor part of the old yeah, floor? Yeah, this is the original floor. Uh, this is the original floor right staircase. Now, right now. Yep. Oh, wow. And I heard this staircase. And you can see the, uh, the way that the, the, the marble is slightly warped from the uh, traffic pattern over the last hundred years. And I heard that this uh, staircase is a better part of 106 years old. Yes, every bit of that too. So um, it's uh, amazing. I'm, now we're on the second floor, which is really the amenity area for the hotel. And that is comprised of, down the corridor, we've got extensive meeting space. And to the right here, there is uh, food service for the breakfast, as well as appetizers and happy hour that serve the Hyatt House and Hyatt Place, which are the hotels that are going to be located here. Uh, this is a dining facility. Over there, the- Peek inside real quick. Yeah, this holds about 200. And you guys are set to open in July. We're shooting one? for July 1st. And a lot of the, um, you know, our opening schedule is tied to elective procedures at both University of Illinois as well as Rush, where patients are going through acute care uh, rehabilitation and procedures that demand their families request, uh, you know, hotel hospitality stays for two to five days at a time. Um, but all the plaster work is restored back to its original. Let's sneak around. This is still a working construction site for people who are. <laughs> yeah, watching. absolutely. But we're, we're putting the final details on it. This is the bar lounge area. This is the bar. Okay. This will be a popular spot, I'm this guessing. This will be a very popular spot. You know, it's amazing what people experience on a medical campus. Some are celebrating recovery. Uh, others are dealing with other maladies and conditions that, you know, that, that are dealt to people in their life. But, um, you know, we're trying to develop and have an atmosphere within which they can uh, find comfort. This room is outstanding. I love the old arches. You can really see a lot of the old architecture uh, from when this hospital was the first originally designed and built. And there's still a lot of unique things left in this hospital. And I think we're going to see 
one of those coming up in a minute upstairs on the eighth floor is that right yeah that's correct there's there's some a special feature on eight that i think you'll find interesting but even in this open area this was originally filled in as part of the floor and the ceiling was dropped and what we did in researching the original construction found this to be an atrium so we carved out this entire bay area opened it up again took the ceiling out and discovered this ornamental uh, so this was covered for years this was covered for years yeah no kidding so they filled this in so this just used to be a one big one floor. big floor yeah that's unbelievable and you just found that by the designs of the original design yeah right? because we're you know basically we're engaged in a historic tax credit structure uh, that helps subsidize the renovation here and as such they want to see replication and renovation of various parts of the project and this was one that was uh, we identified as, as an element that we wanted to bring back to its original condition yeah, it's this it's stunning you don't see them like this too often anymore no so this will be known as dr murphy's food hall really <laughs> after your grandfather uh great uncle great uncle yep. how many restaurants do you think are gonna fill the space this will be eight here uh we've got five of them filled and 14 in line for the remaining two or three spots and you were saying that this is an underserved community, so it's yeah. kind of a big deal that this is here, right? It is. It is. Ooh, I think it's look around here. very successful. And how many hours did you say that uh, has gone into this project as far as just, just hours? You were saying earlier. You know, we've been working on it for about three years, and, uh, you know, we had about 230 people working the project from a construction perspective. Um, and so, you know, you just multiply that out, you know, two four you know you're probably talking thousands and thousands of hours to really pull it all together but and a few million dollars uh, 140 million to say be more specific but you know candidly it's been a great team walsh construction has a terrific team our architects at som um you know jackie Koo was the uh interior designer and you know just made for a you know a solid team to execute a, a really great program all right, so this will be Dr. Murphy's Food Hall coming in the uh, summer of 2020. That's right. So where's our next stop, John? Our next stop, so why don't we go see a room? All right. All right, we this made it. This is Hyatt Place room, which we're going through with finishing touches on. And uh, the hotel program is comprised of about 210 rooms, half of which are Hyatt House, which is an extended stay brand for Hyatt, and then the others are ones like this, which are Hyatt Place, uh, more of an economy-driven, uh, high-quality brand for, for Hyatt Group. So we'll try and take a look at a Hyatt Place, Hyatt House room, and you'll see the difference. Are they all on the same floor, or are they? Uh, no, they're all uh, scattered about. Scattered around. And these are the hallways, we were just commenting earlier, these hallways are some of the biggest hallways I've ever seen in a hotel. You've got 15 foot ceiling heights to contend with and there's varying heights as the building grows higher. Again, recognizing that when the building was built, there was effectively no air conditioning. So you had higher ceilings to circulate air. This is a Hyatt house room, which includes a living room area, a small kitchenette, and then of course the uh, bedding area as well as the um, bathroom oh yeah that's plenty big i mean but you can see once you're in the building everything is brand new and you got one heck of a view outside you kind of see the whole medical campus out this way you're right on the street yep. do you know like what certain floors were like when people stay, they're like, yeah, like oh, were, this used to be the... Yeah, a lot of them, most of the initial floors were simply, uh, you know, basically disease control. Um, but the upper floors were all operating, recovery, uh, triage in some cases. But, um, you know, there's an infirmary, a morgue. There's a every full element, functioning hospital. Every element you would see in a, in a large large hospital you had you had here but you can see the hallways we want to preserve for historic purposes so they are fairly wide in width and again the ceiling height is significant so where's our next stop on this uh 
Our next stop is going to be the eighth floor. Eighth floor. What's on the eighth floor? All the operating went on. And that it's uh, that was like a live gallery kind of, right? Where oh yeah, that was a you know this was a, a major education uh, institution for uh, pioneering medical procedures over the years, and recognized as one of the top in the world. You can see the stairs are like right there, Just go right up to the outside. So where they were operating. Correct. Correct. And now it's it's a nice hide house room. It's got a small kitchenette, living area, and then the sleeping quarters back around this way in the back. And uh, you know we've got great access to you know not only the downtown area but also the United Center, Fifth Third Arena, and uh, you can right there. It, it's truly the epicenter of the IMD. Yeah. Now, this is a view that most people probably have never seen before, just because, unless they were in this hospital when it was a hospital. If they looked out the window, they were probably sick while they were doing it, and you know, probably didn't re recall it too, too often. So, it's, um, but it's it's been a great project, you know, and one we're very excited to deliver to the marketplace. And um, you know, come on along. We'll we'll take a look at this next piece that I find even more interesting. Than previous. What floor is that one on? This is also on eight. All on eight. All right, so we're gonna head down here. So this is safe to say it's not done yet. Yeah, and as an educational facility, uh, many of these surgeons would teach residents and students in this very room. And this was at the turn of the century when many of the procedures were pioneering uh, or thought to be pioneering, but uh, great advances in medicine were made right in this room. And what do you think you guys might uh, restore it for? I think it'll maintain its current uh, programmatic profile, but be cleaned up. You know, it's, there's not much utility in it. It's not ADA compliant, um, but we could clean up, you know, the different tiers of, of seating and maybe show it as it was, you know, when the- Almost when like a it. museum. It's a museum feature for sure. Very unique. I mean, as you said, it's one of the first ones in the in the country. Yeah, it was a, it, absolutely pioneering uh, some of the most advanced medicine at the turn of the century and beyond. Well, I got to say, John, this is one of the most exciting things I've had the pleasure of taking a look at. And I just uh, want to thank you for letting me uh, go on this little tour before you guys even open up. It, sure. It's uh, something really cool. I think the city will love. Well, we're happy to have you. And thanks very much for, for your visit today. And uh, July 1st, you're hoping for? Where Shoot can people? For July 1st. And, uh, you know, we encourage everyone to come and try it out. Maybe it's a stay, va a stay vacation for now. Oh, yeah, especially with this year. Yes. I mean, if you've never well, seen with, it. With air travel down and the uniqueness of, of this project, uh, we encourage everyone to come by and, uh, you know, stay overnight. And where can people find out more information about the uh, hotel and its opening? It'll be in the Hyatt Cook County uh, website, and we'll, uh, we'll get you details on that. All right. Thank you, John. All right, that was the Chicago scene for today. Probably one of the most unique places that I've ever been in the city of Chicago. The new Hyatt House, Hyatt Place at the old Cook County Hospital right on Harrison Street on the west side. If you think about it, a lot of Chicago families got their start here. The first ever heart transplant, among other medical discoveries, happened right here in this building. So it will be one of the most unique places and it really will be the Chicago scene this summer. I'm Tom Barnes. If you'd like to email me, tbarnas at wgntv.com, T-B-A-R-N-A-S at wgntv.com, if you have a suggestion for the Chicago scene. We'll see you later.